But I want you to know that this story is the absolute truth. His little preacher called me up. He said, Brother Wendy, he said, I understand that whenever y'all sing in these little country churches, you don't charge no money. And I said, that's right. And he said, that's what we got up here. No money. <laughs> he said, you might not even want to sing in our little old church. He said, we ain't got but 24 members. Whenever we got up there, we found out how come. <laughs> mm -hmm. We plugged our guitars in. We started picking and singing just like we do everywhere. And after two or three songs, just about everybody in that church was up on their feet shouting. We should have known right then we was in an unusual church. You know, folks don't shout much anymore. Now, whenever I was a boy, just about every church my daddy took me to, the women would literally get up and shout their hair down. Nowadays, if they shout it anywhere, they shout it off. <laughs> but they're shouting in this church. Three ladies and two men shouted themselves right up on the pulpit with us. They got around there behind us shouting. We didn't know what they was doing back there and didn't care till they come out around us. And they come out around us with five of the biggest rattlesnakes I have ever laid my eyes on. They told us after that service was over that the biggest rattlesnake they had in that church was five feet long. Honey, the one they brought by me was 27 feet long. <laughs> they told us after that service was over about old Moses and that rod that turned into a serpent. They told us about that scripture. You didn't write nothing on the walls, did you? Hmm? I know how you feel. They, they told us after that service was over about that scripture in the Bible where it says, Thou shalt take up the serpent. And they feel like they got the same kind of faith that them folks in the Bible had. And they feel like as long as they're in the faith and as long as they're in the spirit, that rattlesnake ain't going to bite them. And when they get in the faith and when they get in the spirit, they don't care what they do with them rattlesnakes. That woman that stopped by me, she didn't even know. She about to rub that big old ugly thing all over me. She is out of it. Waving that big old rattlesnake around and shouting to the top of her lungs. And you know something? I had a feeling that rattlesnake knew that woman was in the faith. I had a feeling he knew that woman was in the spirit. I had a feeling he knew I wasn't. <laughs> this is a fact what I'm telling you with my hand up. That woman, that woman took that big old rattlesnake in her hand, brought that thing right down in her face, and got nose to nose with it, shouting in its ear, daring it to bite her. All at once, I, I looked over there, and I was eyeball to eyeball with that big old ugly thing. Now, the rattlesnake I'm talking about, not the woman. That old rattlesnake looked over there and saw me. He went. I like to die. This is a fact what I'm telling you with my hand. That woman, that woman took that big old rattlesnake in her hand, throw that thing down on the floor kicked her shoe off and put her bare foot on top of his head and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Whenever she threw that thing down on the floor, missed my foot about that far. I done a little shout myself. And she thought I was in the spirit <laughs> and brought me one up. <laughs> but I saw right away we had a house full of people and we didn't have but five rattlesnakes. 
And I want you folks to know that there ain't a greedy bone in my body. I told her, give mine to Geraldine. I looked around there at old Geraldine. She was a color of cotton. She already started dry heaving. And, and this is a fact, what I'm telling you with my hand up. All the way up there, old Geraldine was just about dead with cold. She almost had the flu or something. She nearly didn't even get to go. They got to waving them rattlesnakes around old Geraldine's head. She backed up against that wall just as close as she could get. And I heard her sniffing and snorting back there. And just about the time I turned around and looked, Oh, Geraldine blowed one of them big old snot bubbles. What do you call it? <laughs> Mucus drainage. <laughs> see my old sainted mama now. Boy, you better straighten up or I'll slap the mucus drainage out of you. <laughs> now I don't forgot where I was. I looked around there at old Geraldine. I Oh, Geraldine said, what in the world are we going to do? I said, just take it easy. Don't panic. I said, just look around and find out where the back door is. She said, I already looked and there ain't none. I said, reckon, where do they want one? <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact, what I'm telling you with my hand up. Whenever we come in that church, the first thing we noticed was some pictures of some people in their casket. <laughs> On the wall. I've been in a lot of churches. I never have seen no pictures of no people in their casket. <laughs> On the wall. So whenever that service was over, I walked back there with that preacher. I said, preacher, I want to ask you something. I said, what about these folks here on the wall? <laughs> he said, Brother Wendy, said, this here's a, some pictures of some of our people that took up the serpent and then lost their faith. <laughs> I said, preacher, I got a feeling I'd be in that crowd right there. <laughs> this lady looked over there at me and said, you mean to tell me if the Lord commanded you to take up the serpent, you wouldn't take him up? I said, yes, ma'am, I surely would. But he didn't, and I ain't. <laughs> 